go to contacts.google.com. See that right there, contacts.google.com. You see that it's going to take you to your um, contacts page. Down at the bottom of the page on the left hand side, you're going to see a button that says New Group. If you click on there, it's going to ask you to title a group, which we'll call Sixth Period. Click OK. Once that's done, you'll notice under My Contacts, it will now show Sixth Period. Up at the top, you can search for each of your students. So if I want to add a specific student, I would type in their name, hit Search. If you come up on here, and I'm going to close this out. Add that, and then um, there's an icon, so you'll see the user here. You'll see there's an icon right up here with three heads and a drop down menu. When I click on that, I can put a check mark and then hit apply, and that student is now and now added to that period. So if I want to add somebody else, hit search, and there it is. Put a check mark there, add to groups, add to sixth period, and apply. Now if you notice over here on my left hand side, it says 6th period 2, and if I click on that, it's going to show me that there are two students that are currently in my 6th period class, or group. So once again, if I wanted to go to Google Drive and share a specific doc with a uh, group, all I do is click on that document. It's going to open that, and up in the top right hand corner, there's a button that says share. If I click on share, under add name or add people, I can type in the group name. So if I type in six, then you'll see it showing up right here at the bottom, sixth period. I just hit enter, and then all members of that group will automatically be added to that document for sharing. And of course, over here on the right hand side, I can select if I wanted to edit, comment, or view. Once finished, hit save and share, and then that document will be shared with that group.